Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about a horror thriller film called Good Boy from 2022. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. An eccentric millionaire keeps a man dressed as a dog as a pet. This creature's name is Frank. The movie begins with a scene of gourmet cooking. Christian is grilling meat on melted ice. He carefully divides the resulting dish into portions. He puts one portion on a plate and pours the other portion into an iron bowl. He puts the bowl on the floor and calls Frank, a man dressed as a dog, who crawls on the ground and eats on the floor. At dinner, Christian is flipping through Tinder. When he spots Sigrid, the man gives her a super like, immediately indicating serious intentions and financial solvency. Later, the man washes Frank, who has taken off his suit. He brushes his teeth. Lying in bed, Christian says it's time to go to bed, and the dog obediently moves to the floor. But before falling asleep, the man writes a message to a girl he likes. In the morning, Christian has breakfast and feeds Frank dog food while talking to Sigrid. While doing morning exercises, the guy does not forget to write messages from time to time. As a result, the girl suggests meeting up. Christian carefully dresses up in a smart suit and goes on a date, not forgetting to ask Frank's opinion about how he looks. Frank arrives at the date. There, he starts to get nervous and drinks beer. He doesn't believe the girl will show up. After finishing his drink, he is about to leave, but Sigrid finally appears. She is a short girl in sweatpants. After ordering another beer, she talks to the guy, occasionally being distracted by her phone. It turns out that she is studying psychology at a private school. The two of them chat, and the evening slowly falls. Christian offers to go to his house. Agreeing, Sigrid is amazed at the huge house and its rich decoration. Christian offers to drink wine, telling her that he lives alone. There is only a dog in the house. Frank cautiously peeps at them, but keeps to himself from another room. The owner tells us that he inherited the house from his deceased parents. The conversation flows smoothly into kissing, and gradually they move to the bedroom, where Frank continues to watch them. When Sigrid wakes up in the morning, she notices a man in a dog costume sitting on the floor. While eating breakfast, she continues to watch Frank, whom Christian calls his dog. Deciding that her undergraduate knowledge of psychology is not enough to make sense of this, Sigrid leaves. Christian tries to make peace with her, but the boy scares her, and she asks him to give her a ride home. The guy agrees, and on the way apologizes for not making things clearer. Back at home, Sigrid tells her neighbor about their last date. She even shows a photo of Christian. It turns out that he is very rich, having inherited his father's millions. The friend convinces Sigrid not to leave such a promising guy for the sake of eccentric pranks. Together, they watch videos about dog play, where one person pretends to be a dog and the other pretends to be its owner. After assessing the prospects, she prepares to write to Christian, but he calls first. Christian apologizes for not saying anything right away. Sigrid admits that she overreacted. They agree to have dinner together. The next day, she can't concentrate on her studies because she keeps thinking about her adventures with Christian. In the evening, she meets the boy again. The girl gently starts a conversation about Frank to understand what she is dealing with. According to the boy, Frank is an old friend of his who has no one else. And when he decided to consider himself a dog, Christian could not refuse him. The girl tries to play this game to get to know Frank better. She strokes him like a real dog. He tries to play with her too hard, which scares the guest. Christian has to shout and chase the dog away. Later, sitting on the veranda, the guy admits that he hasn't had any real friends since childhood. Everyone talked to him because he had the best toys and the most sweets. Frank was the only one who sincerely wanted to be his friend. Waking up in the morning in Christian's bed, Sigrid receives breakfast and an apology from Frank for yesterday's behavior. She is late for class and the boyfriend gives her a ride to school. During the lunch break, Sigrid meets her neighbor. When she learns that her friend has found a rich boyfriend, she immediately gives her advice. Back at Christian's house, Sigrid tries to pretend that she is not so simple and needs to go home, but she succumbs to the millionaire's beauty and spends the night with him again. Lying in bed, she offers to help Frank with normal socialization, for example, to find him a girlfriend. In response, Christian suggests that they go to a country house together for the weekend to take a break from the city and get some fresh air. The girl gladly agrees, and the three of them cross the threshold of a house somewhere in a distant forest. Christian decides that now is the time to tell her that there is only one bedroom in the house, so the dog will sleep with them. The girl agrees, but it's just a joke. During lunch, the girl periodically looks at her phone and the owner does not like it too much. Christian suggests having a good vacation and hiding cell phones for a few days. The guest does not really want to do this, but still agrees and gives her phone. The guy takes the box inside the house without telling the girl where he is going. In the evening, she plays with Frank while Christian drinks wine on the couch. The girl's attention eventually turns to the boy. Her soul demands love from her body. To satisfy the guest's demands, Christian goes to get a second bottle of wine. At this point, Frank pulls off the dog mask from his face and warns Sigrid that Christian is dangerous and she needs to run away. 
Suddenly, the boyfriend comes in and the girl loses all romantic mood because she is afraid of the boy. The girl says she is tired and wants to sleep. When she wakes up in the morning, the first thing she does is go to the first floor, but the front door is locked. Secret searches for the key in the pockets of her jackets hanging nearby, but then Christian appears. He is curious about what she is doing. The girl says she wanted to get some fresh air, but the door is locked. The guy accompanies her outside and admits that he always locks the door at night. Secret asks him to give her a second set of house keys so that she doesn't have to wake him up every morning, but Christian has only one set. The girl starts to feel sick from the stress. She doesn't eat anything at breakfast. Secret asks the boy to give her the phone back to call her mother because she is supposedly sick. Christian agrees and brings the phone back, but does not leave. Secret has to dial her mother's number to talk on the speakerphone, and she says that she is fine. After the conversation, the boy accuses her of being addicted to the phone, and he carries the phone back to the hiding place. Secret offers to take Frank for a walk while Christian figures out what they will do in the afternoon. During the walk, she asks the dog about what's going on, but Frank is afraid that his owner is listening. Still, he tells her that Christian is a psychopath. It is not so easy to escape from him. He goes through with his plan and wants to attack Christian when he is sleeping. The girl refuses, but when she returns to the house, she seizes the moment and hides a kitchen knife under her pillow. She is almost caught by Christian. He wants to change the linen on the bed, but fearing that he will find the knife, she decides to take over. The guy is not too happy with this idea, but gives in to the girl's persuasion. Secret is taking a shower when Christian knocks on the door and says they have something to discuss. He waits for her in the bedroom, where he asks her with a serious and dissatisfied face what is wrong with the bed. The girl denies everything to the last, and Christian says that the linen is not neat enough, but he's just joking, although Sigrid is not laughing at all. Suddenly, the boy wants to do some physical exercises with the girl. He starts kissing the girl, but she is not in the mood for it. She pushes Christian away, and he falls down. The boy gets up silently and goes to the kitchen for dinner. They eat in silence, and Sigrid suddenly feels sleepy. She wants to go up to the bedroom, but her legs give out and she almost falls unconscious. Christian manages to catch her. Waking up before dawn, the girl puts her hand under her pillow, but there is no hidden knife. Christian wakes up next to her and orders her to follow him. He wants to show her something. The boy behaves distantly. He asks Sigrid if she knows why they came to this secluded house. Then Christian turns on the recording of the conversation in which Frank convinces the girl to attack him at night. Immediately, the guy pulls out a knife from the drawer that Sigrid was hiding under her pillow. Christian tells the frightened girl that he is very disappointed. He takes her to the back room where Frank is sitting in a cage. Christian admits that he didn't need to record the conversation because the faithful dog confessed almost immediately. After removing the lock from the cage, Christian takes off the dog's mask and pets him, but Frank suddenly bites his hand. Having broken out of the cage, the dog attacks Christian, but he still wrestles him down and almost strangles him. Taking advantage of the situation, Sigrid grabs the house keys and runs away. When Christian notices her escape, he becomes very angry. He drags Frank on a leash to the barn. There, the psychopath starts to do some bad things to him. He covers his eyes with a blindfold and his ears with headphones. Christian pours water over Frank and then puts a bag over Frank's head and takes the bag off his head when Frank almost faints from lack of oxygen. Christian then puts the victim in a cage and places powerful speakers on the sides. Wearing noise-canceling headphones, Christian turns the music up to full volume. Grabbing a baseball bat, the man walks around the cage with it, making Frank bark like a good dog, but this is not enough for him. Pulling the victim out of the cage, Christian puts him on his knees and then the film shows us Sigrid. She is running away at this time, but realizes that she cannot get out of the forest. The girl grabs a stick and returns to the house. She hears a noise in the barn and finds Christian mocking Frank. Taking advantage of the fact that he can't hear anything, the girl sneaks up on him and hits him on the head with the stick. While Christian is lying on the ground, the girl picks up Frank and tries to save him, but the psychopathic millionaire grabs his bat and makes Sigrid lose consciousness. When Sigrid falls unconscious, Christian sinks to the floor next to her and begins to sob aloud. In the next scene, Christian is preparing breakfast again. He pours food into a bowl and goes down to the cage. He unlocks the cage and puts the bowl inside. Waiting for the command, Frank starts to eat. Christian goes to the barn with another bowl. There, the captive Sigrid is sitting on a leash in a dog costume. The girl shows her loyalty and obedience with all her appearance. Christian says that he will soon allow her to sleep in the house and then he returns to the kitchen. He fills another bowl with food and puts it on the floor. Then he unlocks the lock of another cage and says, it's time for breakfast, son. And slow children's footsteps are heard off screen. This is the end of the movie. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I'm happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Oleha Recapped was with you. See you soon.